If you want to know how to make a moving laser for your Roblox game, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a moving laser really quickly. It's going to be a short video, but it's going to work and it's going to be really cool. The reason I'm making this is as I've seen a lot of people struggle with it and I thought let's help because you guys are overcomplicating it. You're going to use lerp and all that stuff. You don't need all of that stuff. All you need is tween service and a loop. So I'm going to be teaching you that today. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, if you want to like the video, just like it. And if you want to dislike it, dislike it. Simple as that. Simple as even macaroni can get you. Uh, and macaroni is my... Okay, I'm joking. But um, my point is, I've seen a lot of people struggle with it. And I should help you guys. So if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. And uh, let's continue. So I want to click part. I'm just going to scale it the same size as this thing is. Boom. Mm, boom make it red i'm gonna make it neon because why not i'm gonna make it anchored i'm gonna turn the cancel light off so you can walk through it so you want to duplicate it and duplicate it again and then put it somewhere else so i'm sure put it over there so you get the point so i got two pillars you want to right click this one and this one so one of them and then click one and now one of them should be visible and the other should be invisible as you can see the, the, the this one which is still visible should be called moving this one should be called end because it's at the other side and this one is in the actual part which is going to be the starting point now group it call it laser a fun fact with this you can just loop it you can just loop it way more you can even do this boom 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 you get my point so what we want to do, we want to insert a script. Yes, 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 a script. Now you want to do local tween service. Is it the game? Come on, get service, tween service. You want to do that. Local time, is it two? You can do whatever you want. You can change it to three. But this time, it's the time this, the, the laser goes from this side to the end and back. So this is going to take two seconds and this is going to take two seconds. So you get the point. Now you want to do quarantine.resume, quarantine.create, function, like that. And then you want to do enter, and you'll get, you should get end with two brackets. Now we're going to do while to do, tween service, colon create. We're going to do script.parent.moving. We're going to do the object, which is moving. We're going to do tween info.new. Yes, we're going to do tween info.new. I'm going to do it on time because the time is going to decide what's the best. Enum.easingdirection.inout. Enum.easingstyle. Uh, style. Dot, uh, sign. And last but not least, comma outside of the other bracket. And I don't know why that's erroring, but okay. Over here, you want to put those curved brackets. And you want to do. Position is equals to script.parent.end part position. Why are these erroring? That is my question. And I do not know why they're erroring. And maybe maybe we should switch them. Enum that easing style dot assign and enum that easing direction dot in out. In out. But now that's error up. Do that. And there you go. So I had to switch them. Sorry. I forgot to switch them. But make sure at the end to put colon play. At all the end of the brackets, colon play. Now put wait to, uh, time. Now you want to copy this. Boom. I'm going to paste it over here. And instead of end, you want to put start. Now at the end, again, wait time. Now you want to do... Um, outside of this, script apparent dot moving dot touched colon connect function hit. So if something touched it, yep. If hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid. So if there's a humanoid, then we're gonna do local player 
Is it the game? Top game call on get service players. Call on get player from character. Hit that parent. So now we define the player. And we're gonna do player that character humanoid. Call on take damage 100. You're gonna die instantly when you touch the laser. Get the point? Yes, you do. Thank you so much. Okay, anyways. So that is everything done for scripting. So I'm just gonna quickly go over what we're doing. Um, over here, we're defining our train service. Over here, we're defining our time. Uh, over here, if the player touched it, we're gonna check if it's a player. By defining humanoid, only hu um, players have a humanoid. So if you have that, you're a player. We're gonna get your player from the character by using hit the parent. We're gonna kill you by doing 100 damage and every character normally without any modified scripts has a hundred health Over here. I'm making a quarantine loop, which means if you spawn in it's really efficient 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 uh, We're gonna make a loop after that and then we're gonna put our information for the training So now if you put play our game play you Should notice they're gonna move you're like whoa, so as you can see they move so every, this takes two seconds, one, two, and if you go in it, you die, boom, and as you can see, no errors or something, so now if we respawn, as you can see, we can walk through it again, and if you do boom, you're gonna die, what you could do, as I said, to modify it, over here, you can just do a one, or a 0 0.1, if you do 0 0.1, it's gonna go insanely fast, I don't even think my computer can handle that movement, Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, it goes enormously fast, and you're gonna die instantly. Recommended is like 0 0.5 ish, ish, something like that. And now, if you would look, this is half a second. Let's see if it's possible. Nope, it's not. Well, you get the point, and um, that's the exact reason why I made this video. So it actually everything works, and you can just close these up or these. You get my point. So you can easily edit it by putting the time here. And once you put the time, it's just going to move around. Um, so there's nothing really much to say anymore because I've done everything I wanted to. I've showed you how to make lasers. I explained what every single code does. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. My name is Newbie, and I say peace out.